Postmaster since 2012. He has served as club officer and district leader in several positions. He became distinguished Postmaster in July 2019. He received District Director Special Award for 2018 to 19. He is a Pathways Mentor and he is currently the VP Education of Emerging Postmasters Club, Emerging Leaders Postmasters Club. Professionally speaking, he has over three decades of cumulative experience in IT and embedded systems. He had worked in DRDO and HCL Technologies, where he was a general manager. He received his PE horns in ECE from GCT Coimbatore and MTech in Computer Engineering from IIT Kharagpur. Let us all welcome Distinguished Trust Master Ashok Kumar to take over the stage and present your session. Over to you, Ashok. Thank you, Toastmaster of the day, Toastmaster Yasin. Good morning, all the Toastmasters and guests. It's a new experience for me. After a long time, I am attending a morning meeting after a very long time. Earlier, I had attended a Meraki Toastmasters meeting. Uh, this is after a long time. Good. Uh, raise your hand if you have uh, goals for your personal and uh, professional lives. I see some hands going up. Good. Raise your hand if you have goals for your Toastmasters journey. Oh, I see still the same or more number of hands going up. That's good. When I have been, I have been interacting with so many people and I have been a Toastmaster for close to nine years. I didn't have any formal or written goals for my Toastmasters journey. I have uh, mentored over uh, 25 uh, people. Uh, I never uh, set any goals formally or anyone had written goals. Last year, I took up Pathways Mentor Program. Uh, please raise your hand if you know what is Pathways Mentor Program. If we are, anyone has taken it up already. Okay, good. Fine. When I took up Pathways Mentor Program, it's a very formal program. Mentoring has been a very strong aspect of Toastmasters, but it was always informal. In, in Pathways Mentor Program, a lot of formalism has been introduced. At the beginning of uh, your mentoring relationship, uh, you are uh, expected to have dialogue with the mentee and then set the goals. Guide, guide the mentee to set the goals. I did that with my mentee who had been my mentee for the previous four years, but we gave a fresh look. We brainstormed on uh, how to go about setting the goals. Once we did that, then I thought, why not set goals for myself? I did that. Then I thought, okay, why not um, make all the club members set their goals? I went ahead and did that. After that, I thought, why not uh, take this up with uh, District 120 and uh, spread the culture of uh, setting goals and achieving them. I discussed this with uh, our program quality director, uh, Toastmaster Satish. He liked the idea and he connected me with the uh, distinguished Toastmaster Nina John, who is our uh, uh, district uh, mentor pool committee chair and uh, her team. I made a presentation to them. Uh, then they said, okay, the, the idea is good. Let's go ahead. I've been going and uh, talking to different clubs and uh, making this educational session on uh, goal setting. And here I am. This is my uh, ninth club in which I'm delivering this uh, education session. Everyone who joins uh, Toastmasters has a very broad goal to improve public speaking and uh, leadership skills. But the moment you join Toastmasters, you know about uh, pathways. There are 11 paths and there are over 300 plus competencies to be gained across the paths. It's not okay to still have that broad goal. It's better to go specific. That is my idea. So let me now start the presentation. We'll go ahead with that one. Uh, please let me know if you are able to see my screen. 
thank you are you seeing the slide yeah thank you yeah just for the completeness sake let me state the benefits of setting the goals for the members there will be clarity of purpose for the mentors they will be able to guide the mentees well better and for the vp education the vice presidents education they will be able to schedule the meetings once they know all the members goals and the plans knowing your i mean writing your goals and sharing with others will keep you on track in achieving goals and in the process of setting goals you will come to know a lot of things about toastmasters as such uh, toastmasters i can say it's an information jungle if you go to the website you will feel you are into the wild uh, if you go to the base camp there will be a lot of things uh, so it's better to focus on certain things that you want to do i came up with uh, four types of goals for toastmasters role based goals educational goals skill based goals and uh, leadership goals i will share some examples of each type and then i will also share a sample goals tracker by role based uh, goals i mean taking up meeting roles there are times when uh, people start with the toastmasters movement initially they may take up timer or counter and grammarian roles but after some time they may not be interested in doing that it's better to support the vp ed education uh, in taking up these roles also once in three months and similarly taking up table topics master general evaluator and tmod roles after some time we can take because initially these roles may not be suitable for the newcomers in about 3 to 4 months they will be ready to take up all these roles especially the tmod role requires a lot of um, a uh, preparation and then delivery during the meeting toastmaster yasin is doing a good job uh, i like it similarly you can take up effective speech evaluator role or you can take up roles in the club contest area contest division contest and district contest there are so many roles available across the district you just need to decide where you want to contribute similarly attending judges training and taking up judge role also is a possibility after completing a uh, level 2 in pathways especially for isc educational goals this is something which may be uh, easily relatable for everyone you can say, whichever path you are in you can say i want to complete so and so level in this path by a particular date setting a deadline will help you uh, plan well and then progress as per that in case you do not want to set that kind of a goal you can go for delivering a speech every 6 to 8 weeks what i have noticed is people give first two or three speeches fast after that they take a long uh, time or long gap uh, and then the inertia develops they are not delivering speeches now with the online meetings people are uh, not many people are coming forward to deliver speeches so you take up one such goal to deliver every 6 to 8 weeks that is one possibility another example is deliver a speech in other clubs sometimes you become comfortable with your um, club members after some time when you go and deliver speech in other places you are expanding your comfort zone then you can also become a pathways mentor skill based goals you can go into competencies like impromptu speaking specifically you can say okay i am able to deliver prepared speeches well but when it comes to uh, table topics i find it difficult so you can take that as a goal and then opt for it or volunteer for it every now and then similarly improve listening skills or developing your non verbal communication skills gestures vocal variety facial expressions and the like you can have that as a specific goal so that your speech preparation and delivery will become more focused these are some of the skill based goals the next one is leadership uh, goals you can volunteer for club officer positions or 
you can become a member of the club subcommittees and beyond the club you can also uh, become a district leader or become part of extended teams similarly there are uh, opportunities for becoming a speech craft coordinator or youth leadership uh, program coordinator there are also other program other uh, role uh, leadership positions like club mentor um, where you will be guiding the excom for the first 6 months of a new club or a club coach where you will be helping uh, a weak club to rebuild or revive or you can be a club sponsor by chartering a new club building a new club if you are already in any of these positions you can also set goals related to your position for example if you are a vp membership you can say okay i want to add five more new members in the next 3 uh, months something like that all these goals that i am talking about are just indicative these are to trigger your thoughts in coming up with your own personalized goals this is a sample um, set of goals and uh, the tracker you can say i want to complete level 1 in so and so path by june 30 uh june 30 this year then you can track the status as okay i have completed icebreaker speech today i have given uh, my second speech something like that then complete level 2 in innovative planning by december or participate in isc then you can say your um, status could be prepared draft version of the script and the like uh, i want to conclude my uh, presentation and then i want to take up uh, questions many a time i find uh, people are not setting goals because they want perfection to begin with itself they want to set very perfect goal and they want to achieve it once they have written the goals they feel it is etched on stone nothing of that sort especially for those masters uh, goals uh, you are free to change uh, every probably 3 months you set the goals if you think the goals are very difficult or very easy than anticipated or expected you can always change your goals and then uh, work with your mentor oh, throughout this in goal setting process you work with your mentor very closely and then get the goals reviewed so you need not uh, be worried about the deadlines or how difficult or big all those things forget it just start with your goals version 1.0 thereafter you can keep uh, changing it improvising on it in fact this goal setting process can help some of you to set proper goals in your professional and personal lives as well with this of course there is another possibility there are uh, these are sample plan for some complex projects uh, especially if you are going to the level 4 and uh, level 5 you will need lot of preparation and it may take lot of time as well for example writing a compelling blog which i took recently i have uh, written eight posts in um, one month but then it required some preparation before and uh, writing and publishing took some time similarly if you are in level 5 taking up uh, high performance leadership kind of projects it will take about 6 to 12 months you need to identify guidance committee members select a project uh, present one speech in the beginning and then at the end you need to give another speech these are all the things you can plan if you are setting a goal now at this point i am i want to open the floor for uh, questions uh, how am i doing with the time uh, timer Hey, uh, sorry, you are on time. Okay, uh, fine. Thirteen minutes crossed. Okay, good. Uh, thank you. That's all I had uh, for the presentation. I have shared my presentation with Soundarya, who can share it with uh, all the club members. I am open for uh, questions. Hi, sir. Uh, I have a question. Yes. Uh, thank you for the wonderful presentation. First of all, uh, yes, uh, as you said, deadlines uh, should not be rigid. Our goals initially should be easy. 
but uh, uh, in general normally when we start our goal setting uh, we want to achieve it somehow when we fail to achieve it the motivation tremendously drop right so after that to pick up from the scratch it gets very difficult for the first time specifically how do we keep the motivation in that or how to revive the motivation again to start from the scratch okay throughout space okay see people are or or of different kinds if you are of the type where you feel if you don't achieve the goal you may get demotivated or your motivation level may go down then it's better you fix lose goals in the sense don't stretch yourself don't put very um, strict goals or very complex goals set goals in a very very easy way for example if you have the capability of uh, completing level 1 in 3 months maybe you can set the goal as i want to complete in 4 months because you need to have the initial success as you have rightly pointed out uh when we are uh, succeeding we will feel more happy and more um, satisfied to set more complex goals from that angle start small and go big that is what i would suggest and if you are the kind of person who thinks okay i can set difficult goals or very um, tough goals if i don't achieve it also it's fine because there are people who believe try for the moon even if you are uh, reaching the tree top you are okay because you are thinking big there are different schools of thought so uh, one size doesn't fit all you are free to set your own type of goals and then um, correct it after some time thank you hi sir i have a question yes, um yes so see we, toastmasters is very voluntary right so it depends on ourselves so in like even in schools we have grown up especially indians uh, we have grown up in a way with someone else asks us to do something who are someone with authority maybe parents or teachers or professors and then we do it so uh, even like in work i think we've taken that to our work lives also the boss will say something someone with authority is asking you someone is ask you know there to ask you and and that has kind of been the source of our motivation and this uh, toastmasters is very different it it depends on you no one is going to ask you if you're not giving speeches no one is uh, is going to ask you if you're not renewing so how do you get that uh, you know the 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 different kind of uh, uh motivation where you do it on yourself by yourself where there is no authority to figure looking down on you uh sandhya i agree with you for some part in the sense in toastmasters you are on your own you are the boss you set the goals you set the pace or whatever it is but uh don't say that nobody is after you especially your vp education may be after you or your um, uh, uh president may be after you to uh, you know for the dcp goals or something of course whatever they are asking it's not with authority they only ask uh, for the benefit for your benefit and for the club's benefit uh, that is why we say we are um, mutually supportive though that has been taken out uh, from the um, club mission statement uh, we are mutually supportive your mentor is there to guide you uh, in case you are not at all uh, progressing while it is self paced sometimes what happens is if nobody asks we may be forgetting our goals also even in our club where uh, many people have set their goals uh, when i look back some of them have not progressed then now we have started asking them what happened to your uh, goals that you have set uh, in those masters it helps uh, i mean it works both ways you have your self motivation as well as there is a little soft push from your mentor vp president and sometimes even area directors may get into the uh, club affairs when it comes to educational goals what happened nobody has filed uh, uh, any education award in your uh, club something like that yeah it works both ways thank you sir thank you so much welcome any other uh, questions okay 
now uh, since there is no other question i need one help um, i am doing this as uh, my dtm project in pathways i have taken a soft target uh, or a goal of reaching out to at least 25 clubs in the next two months also i want to make at least 100 toastmasters set their goals in the next uh, two, uh, two months or so at least i want five members of your club to set your goals in the next one week to two weeks and then share it with me or through soundarya this is some help i am looking for i have been making this um, request in all the clubs where i am presenting this uh, session uh, hope i'll get at least uh, five members goals in the next uh, one to two weeks thank you thank you for giving me this opportunity back to toastmaster of the day toastmaster yasin thank you so much rtm uh, ashok kumar it was a very well crafted a vehement approach covering all the aspects of goal setting with respect to toastmasters thank you so much i am confident this will be helpful for the members and guests as well now let us begin our next session an impromptu 